Yo, yo, check this out. Brand new, ultimate, YouTube desk setup. <sighs> Dude, we've talked about this. Not another desk setup. No, no, but this is different. This is a YouTube desk setup. How many desk setups do you need in one small space? Like, we don't have that much space here. We already got rid of the couch. How many desk setups you're gonna put in here? Obviously, as many as you can fit. You can never have too many desk setups, man. Whatever, you don't, you don't support me and our YouTube journey, you can just be a Debbie Downer. It's not gonna get views. I bet you it's not gonna get views. All right, we got the YouTube desk setup all ready to go. We got the monitor, we got the camera, the mic, the light, all the stands and all the rigging. I'm super excited to share some more about this ultimate YouTube desk setup. Let's start the video. So I actually wanted to create a desk setup that was specifically designed to make YouTube videos and have a little less friction to start recording. I know it's just extra, but you know me, I love desk setups, so let's get right into it. Some of the problems that I was facing is that, one, I honestly can't film YouTube videos too often at this desk setup because there's a huge computer, there's monitors, I can't have a camera on the other side of it, it's against the wall, which means I'm kind of limited to only having like a side angle for the camera, which is a bummer because I want this clean, forward-facing talking head for a lot of these YouTube videos. Second problem, I found myself just like setting up and tearing down way too often. It just took way too long to set up for these YouTube talking heads. Having a designated spot like this is just great because I could just set up my camera, hit record, and just start recording. Now the third problem I was running into was just lighting in general and overhead rigging. It's super important for a clean YouTube setup. You gotta have good lighting. When I have stands, it takes up a lot of floor space and it's not very versatile. If you stick around, I wanna show you this epic stand that I got that is good for overhead lighting, for key lighting, for overhead cameras. Honestly, it's just an amazing stand. Seriously couldn't find any YouTube videos on it, but I wanna share with you in this video. Now obviously this is a desk setup and every desk setup needs, ta-da, a desk. Now I got the Ergon Office Shift Desk. This is one that I've used in a previous build. Personally, I love the Shift Desk because it's a little bit of a different material than their Sway line. If you want a, like a very premium wood top tabletop desk, definitely check out their Sway line, but their Shift series of desk has this more matte texture on it. It's very oddly satisfying, I love it. Also, it's sit stand, so it moves up. Oh, my mic and it moves down. So those times that I wanna maybe do a talking head video where I'm standing, I could do that. Or if I wanna sit down like this, that works too. Now, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you would know that I've been honestly rocking with Ergon Office for quite some time now. A lot of my desk setups so far have been Ergon Office desk, but that's not to say that I just plug them. Like I really do think they make great quality desk with good peripherals and it just makes it functional. Like this shift desk, for example, I was able to configure the exact color of the legs that I wanted and the tabletop, I got the drawer add-on. So I have a little bit of storage here, which is also matching the tabletop color and then even have the additional outlet or extension add-on. So then I can have outlets on the back of the desk to plug in other peripherals. I also wanted to make sure that I got the caster wheels for this shift desk because I'm able to roll the desk setup around. So when I'm not using it, I could push it against the wall. And when I do need to use it, I could push it off the wall. So I could put my camera on the other side. If I want a slightly different backdrop or a different perspective, I can do that because there's wheels underneath the desk now. For cable management, I pretty much just use their cable mesh system that came with the desk itself. It's super straightforward. Uh, as always, I put the surge protector underneath the desk so I can plug in all the peripherals and that way there's only one cable that's coming down from the desk which is the surge protector that goes into the wall that just keeps everything super clean if you actually want a step-by-step -step guide on how to wire tuck your desk that's a little bit more in depth I'll link a video right here I actually did like a budget under hundred dollars how to have a super clean tuck definitely check it out if you want to get your wires and check yo <laughs> Now, aside from the desk, the second problem I had was just tear down and set up times, right? Well, I've attached through desk clamps and other means all the peripherals I need to kind of get started on my desk setup, minus the camera that you guys are looking at right now. It's on tripod and I usually just take that on and off. On the desk setup itself, I have clamped a few things to manage audio and also monitoring the camera feed and have a place where I can look at my notes. In order to get my mics up above me, there's actually a mic right here. I'm using an Amazon arm clamp that I got. It's okay, like it's made of plastic, but it 
holds up really well. It has a good amount of pivot points and it's extendable. So you can use it as just like a shorty clamp or you can use it with all three pieces and get something armed out like I am on this condenser mic. And then I also have another clamp mic arm for my Shure SM7B microphone. And that's for if I want a different vibe, I guess, with a podcast microphone in front of me and I don't mind having it in frame. On the right side, I have the exact same stand that I ordered, but I'm just using one section of it to get the monitor up. But basically it just communicates with my camera wirelessly so that I can see my camera feed. So right now, and I look to the right, I can see what this camera is seeing. So that way for lighting or color or composition, I can kind of look on the monitor without having to constantly go behind the camera and see or looking at a tiny little screen on the right side of the camera with the flip out. So it's really handy having a monitor to see what the camera is looking at. I also have this little clamp that I bought on Amazon that mounts my phone, super compact, affordable, and it gets the job done. I just have my phone right over here so I can see my notes for my YouTube talking head videos. Another cool piece that I have on the desk that I'm honestly just got because it's aesthetic and I love how it looks is this Nomad charging pad. I'm able to charge my phone, my AirPods, or my Apple Watch all on this one pad. But to be honest, I just got it because it looks dope and it matches the aesthetic of the the black, white, and gray setup we got going on here. Now, can you set all this stuff up on just regular stands or a tripod or a light stand? 100%. But for me, having a desk setup that's on wheels and that I can mount with desk clamps like the microphone, the phone notes, the monitor, just saves me all the time, all the things I don't have to set up now when I'm trying to just hit record and make a YouTube video. Now the third problem that I was running into is having proper lighting and before it was just on a stand, but I found myself tearing that down often. There are a lot of times where I kind of wish I had an overhead light. As a YouTuber, there's gonna be a lot of times where you're gonna wanna get creative with the lighting that you use. Maybe you need to rig a camera overhead to get some top down shots. I honestly never really thought this was an issue until I started to make more YouTube videos and I wanted to switch up some of the angles. So I realized I need to get some sort of overhead setup. Now, right now you probably can't see it in this shot, but in this shot you can see it. And there's like some overhead lighting here that I got set up with a pretty cool stand. But lighting is so important for your guys' YouTube videos. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty hyped about this come up, but it's a pro aim boom stand. It's this beefy stand that has a pretty small footprint for what it is. When it's closed and just the legs are out, you can use it as like a normal C stand because it has a baby pin on the top. When I don't want that, I want an overhead light set up like this, it actually booms out and an arm comes out straight. Now, I obviously I secure it with some sandbags down below, but it's just basically a heavy duty stand that allows me to get overhead. If you start doing research and you look for overhead lighting setups, so one, it usually doesn't have enough payload for cameras and lights, or it just sags down, or two, you have a C-stand with like a boom arm that kind of creates this like T-shape. But when you're in a small home office like this and there's not that much space, I need the stand to get as close to the wall as possible to save space, but still have the arm boom out and still be sturdy. And this stand checked all the boxes. It's definitely not cheap. This video is not sponsored. I bought it all with my own money. I'll link it down below, but seriously, a game changer stand that I probably will start picking up for some of my production clients as well when I'm on some bigger shoots. Now for the actual lights themselves, above me on this overhead lighting setup, I'm rocking the Amaran F22C. It's basically like a foldable matte light, super versatile, very lightweight, which is good for the stand kind of overhead setup I got going on, but it's RGBWW, which means I can put any color on here. Ooh, dang. Okay, okay. We're going, we're going wild, bro. We're going disco party up in here. Obviously I would never do a talking head with a blue light like this, but you can see how for product shots, if I was trying to get some ambient lighting, it's just, it's just cool. If I were to recommend one light, I would definitely recommend getting something like an F22C. It's like compact, it's powerful. Something like this is just so versatile and honestly, totally worth it in my opinion. Another light that I like to use in this setup is these new Amaran PT4C tube lights. The tube lights give a different look when I'm using it to fly over a product or have it behind me just post it up as a practical if I need to get a little bit more creative with the frame, this talking head, those tube lights can really come in handy. Now what's actually nice about these new updated versions of the tube lights that Amaran just released is that they're now 
rechargeable. The battery is built into the tube lights themselves, so they're USB-C rechargeable. These tube lights come in four foot, two foot, and one foot. And just like the F22C, they're full RGBWW, meaning you get the full color spectrum along with the regular CCT, like a little bit warmer or daylight like this, but they're very versatile. This F22C and the tube lights can all be controlled via the Citus Link app that's on your mobile device. So you can actually control the intensity, the color, all those things right on your phone and you don't actually have to use the hardware that it gives you. Another thing I love about having a blank desk like this that's larger is I can add desk mats to add a little bit of it more of texture to it. So if I add like a black desk mat, it has a little bit of a different vibe because then I have some contrast between the desk and the desk mat. I also have a great Still a contrast between the light gray tabletop in this mat, but not as aggressive as like the black one. I also got this full leather kind of shorty one. It's a little bit of a higher quality leather and it's smaller. So if I don't want to rock like a full huge black one, I got this smaller black one. Being able to swap out these different desk mats just adds a little bit of change and versatility to these talking heads and depending on what I'm showing you guys on the tabletop. If you're interested in all the gear that I use for this desk setup, I'll link it in the description below. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace here too.